Medtronic Technologies impacted more than 72 million people in the last year, equating to two people every second. Harnessing the power of technology to take healthcare further, each technology has unique benefits designed to serve patients. The goal of this program is to get closer to the patient and to delve into the challenges and impact each technology has in practice. This is the Medtronic MedEd learning experience. The BIS monitoring system should not be used as the sole basis for diagnosis or therapy and is intended only as an adjunct in patient assessment. Reliance on BIS system alone for intraoperative anesthetic management is not recommended. Medtronic's medical education programs are offered to provide attendees education on the FDA cleared indications and use of our products when applicable. The contents and conclusions of the following program are solely those of the speakers unless otherwise cited. The speakers are responsible for all content and any necessary permissions. The speakers received funding from Covidian LP, a Medtronic company, for the speaking engagement. For this segment of the series, a discussion on anesthesia and the brain, we will find out how Biz can help the anesthesia team deliver TIVA more effectively. To help answer this question is Dr. TJ Gann, Professor of Anesthesiology and Distinguished Endowed Chair at Stony Brook University. So how does one, the BIS index, help us to deliver more effectively? Well, for inhalation anesthetic, we have an end tidal agent monitor. So that gives us some level of confidence that we are keeping the patient, you know, based on the, uh, the dosing, based on the max value. We know that, you know, we are trying to keep patients uh, asleep. But if you are giving total intravenous anesthesia with propofol, really there's no end title agent monitor. So in a way, you are flying blind. Uh, if you are flying a plane, you would want to have an altimeter that tells you how high you are, right? But if you are giving an anesthetic with propofol, you are, flying, you are flying blind. There is no monitor to tell you how deep your patient is, other than to look at hemodynamics, and as we had said earlier, hemodynamic is not a very sensitive indicator of anesthetic depth. So that is the reason, I think, to, to better titrate the amount of anesthetic. And so a BIS monitor would help you to do that. And it also has come with several other advantages, such as if you have a disconnected um, uh, IV uh, tubings or IV is king that you are delivering the propofol, if you see that base number creeping up, it can lead you to trying to troubleshoot what is the problem, uh, cannula displacement, or sometimes operator error because you turn the three-way stop clock to give a drug and you forget to turn it back. So all this base monitoring built in safety uh, uh, net for you to make sure that the patient is not inadvertently aware during general anesthesia. And this, again, illustrates very well, I think, that the correlation between this value and the effect site concentration, right? So if you say to me that, well, this monitor is helpful in monitoring the propofol effect, therefore, it really needs to correlate. So in other words, if you have a high, if higher effect site concentration of propofol, your base value should be lower and then vice versa. So as you can see here at the top panel, when looking at the time cost of bispectral index, you find that the, um, the level of anesthetic uh, as measured either arterial, jugular, or calculated brain concentration at the bottom panel, that the higher the propofol concentration, the lower the BIS value is. Now, as the propofol concentration builds up, the BIS value goes down, and at the same time, as the concentration decrease uh, over time, you can see that base value coming up gradually. So there is a very good correlation between uh, and sort of inverse relationship between propofol plasma concentration and the bispectral index value. So that gives you a level of confidence that the monitor is monitoring what you want the monitor to uh, tell you during anesthesia. Please tune in next week for a new segment from this series wherever you find your podcast. This is the Medtronic MedEd Learning Experience. Thank you for listening.